Hey, 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 how you guys doing tonight? If you don't know who this is, I'm going to tell you right now, this is Kim Douglas coming to you guys from Prosperous Property Investments. Just checking in with you guys, seeing how you're doing tonight. Wanted to share a couple prosperity points, just little tips, help you out in life, help you out in business. And hey, Angela, thanks for jumping in. Help you out in your life, help you out in your, liz your business a little bit. And yeah. So today we are going to talk about the four habits that you got to have to be successful in life. So this translates into anything that you're working on, anything. Hey, Sean, thanks for popping in. Anything that you're doing, four habits to be successful. Just want to know how you guys are doing. So as you're coming in, just drop me a line. Let me know how your day has been. And hey, Joseph, how you doing? Thanks for checking in. <laughs> Let me know how your day has been. Let me know how things are going for you today. And then we will get started in about a minute. I'm going to go ahead and share this really quick. And as I'm sharing this really quick, I will tell you a little bit about my day. So what did I do today? Today was just kind of basically a, uh, a relaxed day. We did watch the football game. Hmm. <laughs> hey, my day has been boss. How has yours been going, ma'am? It's been going pretty good. Pretty laid back. <laughs> just pretty laid back working on a couple things spending some time with family you know watching the football game I didn't watch all of it I watched the last five minutes of it which took like 30 minutes like <laughs> took a long time I don't know if you guys watched the Cowboys and the Packers game talking about uh, football here well American football if you're in another country football for us <laughs> but uh yeah it was a really really close game you know <laughs> a lot of people yeah <laughs> don't talk about sports my hurts and feelings that's okay but yes I'm sharing this in the group really quick and we're gonna get started on that topic the topic is four habits you gotta have to be successful in life you gotta have it you gotta have it you gotta have it and give me about 10 more seconds 15 and I'm going to share this really quick, and then we will get started. So, yep, as you're in here. Oh, there we go. Yeah. What's up with that connection week? Who knows? But, yep, so we shared it in a group, and we're going to get this thing started, right? So, four habits. What do you need to know, right? I'm going to give you the goods, okay? So, the first thing, if you're going to be successful at anything in life, is you have to be careful of your circle, who is in your ear? Who is talking to you? Who is influencing you? Who Who is around you? you got to really be careful about the people who you spend your time with. I know you guys have probably heard that um, the most, you know, you are the sum of your five closest friends. So whoever your five closest friends are, you are the most like them, you know? So to that, if you're trying to go in a new direction in life, you're going to have to change your circle. It's not going to be something that's easy. It's going to be something that's necessary. I've, but there, Oh, there we go. We're back. So, um, yeah. So if anyone is not for you and not for what you got going on in life, it might be time to just, you know, pull away from them and find new friends. <laughs> you got to learn how to be influenced by people who have what you want. So find the people who have what you want. Go in meetup groups. Um, hang around the most successful people, you know, ask them questions, pick their brain. It keeps trying to cut me out. People don't mind you asking for information. They mind you asking for handouts. So if you go to someone who's successful and you ask for information, well, how do I do this? Most times they'll help you. They'll help you. They don't mind sharing what they know. They don't want you to ask them for a hookup. You know, if you ask them for information and you're, you're showing that you're willing to put the effort in, They'll give you information. They'll put you on the right track. So put yourself around these people who have what you want, who have what you desire, the lifestyle you desire, the status that you desire in your own business, in your own area of expertise. Put, your around, put yourself around the best. I always say follow the best, forget about the rest. You know, Separate yourself from the noise and the nonsense because if you don't, what will naturally happen is, I don't know if you've ever heard of the crab mentality, so what happens with the crab mentality is there's all these crabs in the barrel. Uh, one crab will try to get out, and all the other crabs will try to pull it back in. So if that's who you are around, that's what's going to happen to you as you're trying to move forward and do better things. The people who are just not used to going for their goals and moving forward in life, they're going to try to pull you back and hold you back and keep you in 
the comfort zone, you know, just because that's where they're at. That's where they're stuck at, you know. Don't let them. Separate yourself. Like I said, follow the best. Forget about the rest. Yeah. <laughs> Change your circle. Change your circle of influence, right? So number two, the second thing is going to be the speed of implementation. So like how fast are you learning something and then actually doing it, right? So you got to beat that, you know, paralysis of analysis, you know? So basically that means you're just waiting for perfect circumstances in order for you to move forward. I really, really, really had to struggle with this for a long time, you know, just like, okay, I'm in the knowledge phase, you know, I'm gaining a lot of knowledge, I'm gaining a lot of wisdom, but that doesn't mean anything if you're not taking action toward what you're supposed to be doing with that knowledge, you know, you got to start moving in the direction of doing, you know, so that's why they say success loves speed. And that's so true. Success, it truly loves speed, you know, so you just got to learn something and then go do it. And this is the point, like, because so many people and myself included, we're so afraid to make mistakes, but that's the only way that you're going to learn and move forward is by making mistakes and fixing them as you go along. When you learned how to walk, you fell a million times, a million times. Like, did you guys forget this when you were a baby? You fell, you bumped your head, you busted your lip many times. That didn't stop you from wanting to get up and learn how to walk or even learning how to run. But as adults, we kind of have changed our mindset a lot to where we're afraid to make mistakes. We don't want to look bad in front of other people. We, won't, we don't want to disappoint ourselves. But you just got to get out of that. Because the only way to get to the success is you got to go through the failures first. You have to go through the failure to get to the success. You can't avoid the failure to get to the success. He said that, you know, you got, I always say this too, uh, progress, not perfection. You got to shoot for progress, not perfection. Because if you're, if you're making progress, you're, you're making, a, you're in a good step. You're going in the right way. You know, it's never, ever going to be perfect. That's just an unattainable goal, you know, but it's going to be doable. You know, you just have to keep taking action and learning along the way. Yep. And he said, if you know success, then you will know failure just as well in this uh, podcast that I was listening to earlier. And I'm just like, yeah, that's so true. Like you cannot get to the success unless you've had many failures. <laughs> uh, I, I believe it was, yeah, Albert Einstein, when he was creating the light bulb, they, they told him like, well, it took you 2000 tries before you actually created this light bulb. And he said, I just learned 2000 ways that it didn't work. I only had to I only had to learn one way that it actually worked. So there's going to be a lot more failure than success, but the success is going to outweigh the failure. Like when you finally learn how to do it, you can be like, "Oh my god, I did it." And the failure is really not going to matter at that point. All you're going to be focused on is the success. So focus on the success now when you get there, right? <laughs> the third thing is goal setting. Goal setting, goal setting. I know you've heard this a million times and there's probably a reason why. There's probably a reason why because you have to tell yourself where to go. You got to tell yourself what do you want. And then they said the first thing, one thing that I picked up from this that was really key. They said set your goal. Okay, we got our goal. Then they said set your first action step. So that's all, like moving toward the goal. So your goal is two part. You're going to set your goal and then you say, okay, what's my first action that I'm going to do immediately? What can I do within an hour? What can I do after, right after I write this goal down to move forward into that goal? Like I said, with the other one, speed of implementation, you kind of got to get it moving, you know? As I said, start out with your 90 day goals. It's a good place to start. You know that you're going to have your short term goals, then you're going to have your long term goals. But start making goals, even if it's a daily goal. I have these tasks that I want to get done for today. Write the goal down and keep those goals until you actually do them. You know, if that's your goal plan for the day and you didn't get all of, like, say you have four things on there and you didn't get all four done, keep doing it until you actually meet that goal. Hey, Christine, thanks for popping in. So just keep doing this until you actually hit and reach those goals that you're actually trying to reach. So like I said, you're going to set your goal and then you're going to set your first action step in order to meet that goal, right? So the fourth habit, and this one he said is the most important, he said measure 
your goals. Measure your goals. Okay, so you might have something that you're going for, something that you want, but how are you going to know if you're getting close or if you're you're going in the wrong direction if you don't measure your progress? You have to measure everything, he said. He said you should measure your goals. You should measure your net worth. You should measure your response rate. You should measure your conversion rate. So your response rate, when people, when you're putting out advertisements or whatnot, or when you're trying to do something and get others to respond, you should measure how well you're communicating that message uh, across, you know? Um, If you're in business, measure your conversion rate, you know? So, but you have goals, you have things you want to reach and attain. You have to measure how close or how well you're doing at actually following steps that lead you in the right direction to those goals, you know? So you just got to evaluate all your progress. I'm going to give you guys a quote here. All knowledge comes from experience. So that means you actually got to go do it, you know, for the goals. You got to, in order to get the knowledge, you have to gain experience. It comes from experience. So you're actually practicing and going out and doing action steps in order to reach those goals. And that was from Albert Einstein. And people say, hey, knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. No, 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 no. Knowledge is potential power. You know, knowledge plus action is where the power actually comes in. So that's what I wanted to give you guys, the four habits that you need to be successful. (laughs) I'm pretty sure there's more, you know, there's going to be more to that. But I'll just recap it. So the first thing was careful about who you spend your time with, you know. Uh, Yes, enhance your circle of friends to people who have what you want, the lifestyle you want, the money you want. Like I said, the expertise you want in any area in your life. Follow those people. Follow the best, leave the rest. The second thing was the speed of implementation. You know, actually taking that action toward something. You know, you got to fail a lot of times in order to get great results. And the thing about it is, is the people who fail the most, they're going to get the best results.